Here I am again once more uh, moving the trencher, uh, walking it around, the inchworm, the crab walk, whatever you want to call it. Now the trencher, I will be the first to admit, is not really good at digging you know, small round holes. It is a trencher, uh, but I'm going to use the tool as much as I can, uh, anything to keep me from having to use a shovel all the time. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm digging a trench, a short trench here, to plant the next two arborvitae uh, trees in. Now I try to filter out some of the grass uh, because I don't like uh, having big clumps of uh, crabgrass and centipede and other things uh, growing around the trees. Uh, so as I'm digging this, I'm actually trying to sort out the chunks of grass from the actual uh, topsoil that I'm turning over here. Uh, so I can either dispose or reuse the sod, but I won't have it growing all underneath my trees as it currently is on the first trees I planted. Uh, but I'm going to mulch shortly around those and clean around those. And of course I over dug this trench so I did have to go back with a shovel and fill some of the dirt back in so I wouldn't be submerging my trees in the soil. Uh, let's get the uh, trencher out of the way because I'm going to bring uh, the heavy supplies up here with the tractor. Here's my little trench uh, and this is where the two trees are going to go. And again, the uh, Harbor Freight Trencher made a really quick job of this. I found a tractor to be indispensable, uh, besides moving dirt and things, just moving heavy objects. Now these trees were not as heavy as the originals up there, these are a little smaller, but there's no point in me carrying things by hand when I can haul them up there on the tractor, and that's what I did. Uh, so the front end loader is, is indispensable for me. I always like to wear my gloves on my hands when I'm doing any hard physical labor like this, just because uh, uh, at night, when I'm with my woman, I don't want to have scratchy sandpaper hands, so I wear gloves when I work. I don't like blisters either, and that does prevent blisters. Now, I was really amazed by these uh, trees. Uh, most of the time when I buy trees, they're in some kind of potting soil meeting, but in this case, they were in some really, really hard concrete like clay as though they were grown uh, in a field somewhere with just field clay uh, which these trees will do fine but I do want to chisel off some of that hard material so that my roots are contacting my soil a little bit so the trees will take off a little bit better hopefully uh, so I, I chunked and chiseled at those quite a bit getting them in there Again, refilling the hole a little bit with dirt so I can get the trees up to height. Now I'll clean up some of this debris. Uh, honestly, the uh, little edge there, or the drop off there, was a little severe, so I couldn't get all of the grass chunks out. 
Uh, with the tractor, I'd have to go back later and get them by hand. But for the most part, I was able to clean up the debris and the uh, dirt left over here and get it out of the way using the tractor. Now the plants tend to do fairly well in this area uh, just because we have morning sun. Uh, you're looking actually uh, semi eastward here in the shot. Uh, here I am watering these in really well. I wanted to water them in uh, really well before I did any mulching. Uh, make sure all the roots were soaked uh, so the plant wouldn't be too shocked when I got it in the ground. Now the mulch I use is uh, I don't like the pine bark mulch. I generally use the cypress. Cypress, I'm sorry. It's a shredded mulch and it doesn't float away when it rains. Uh, it stays in place. Uh, it might not be as ornate as some others, but this is on top of a hill, and I, I really, I'm really looking more for function here, more for function than form. Uh, I just want to keep the roots safe down here, uh, and I want to keep weeds under control on the side of this hill. Well, it was a bit of a challenge working around these building materials that my contractor left on site. Uh, they're building a roof for the porch this week. But for now, I have my Arborvati in the ground. Uh, the two I purchased today were a two foot or about a foot shorter than the ones that were here before. But they're all planted equidistant, which is probably much too close together for this type of plant. But I want to pull a solid hedge here and I want it fairly quickly. The next space of the yard up here, I'm still smoothing that a little bit. I've got some straw and some grass seed to put out over in the neighbor's yard here and at the edge of the property line. And up here, I have some other trees I'm gonna plant, uh, but that'll be on the next project.